Now, Nottinghamshire police have been condemned for failing to help a mother who was beaten to death by her former partner. The Independent Police Complaints Commission said the force failed to intervene 11 times before 21-year-old Casey Brittle was murdered by Sanchez Williams. The IPPC said he was well known to local police for his propensity for violence and that a number of officers failed to perform to the level expected of them. Our Midlands correspondent, Darshan Seni, has this report. An ambitious young mother, remembered fondly for her silly sense of humour, murdered by a violent ex-partner, failed by a police force that didn't even have a domestic violence policy. Casey Brittle was beaten to death here in her own home. The vicious, appalling attack was witnessed by her two-year-old daughter. Ms Brittle had been living in fear of her abusive ex-partner and she had reported him to Nottinghamshire Police 11 times in two years. Ms Brittle was just a teenager when she met her ex-partner. They had a little girl together, but that didn't stop him repeatedly threatening and assaulting her. Sanchez Williams was a known criminal. He once threatened to shoot Ms Brittle and Nottinghamshire Police had been told he had access to firearms. He had little regard for the law, sometimes beating her up in public in front of witnesses. And yet these witnesses were never questioned by officers who responded to 999 calls. The case has been reviewed by the IPCC and in a damning report it found that the police failed to intervene despite 11 separate incidents between 2008 and 2010. They failed to obtain crucial evidence or to consider how to prosecute Williams without using Ms Brittle as a witness. And despite arresting Williams several times, officers didn't impose bail conditions that would have prevented him from approaching Ms Brittle. But this is not the first time Nottinghamshire Police has been investigated by the IPCC for the way it handles cases of domestic violence. Our beautiful Denise, who meant so much to so many people... Had the so family of Denise Skilbeck are waiting for a report into her death at the hands of an abusive partner. The 31-year-old was killed in March. And two years before the death of Casey Brittle, another IPCC report had condemned the Nottinghamshire force over a case involving a woman named Gail Hadili. It's appalling that in 2009 I made recommendations following the Gail Hadili case to North Nottinghamshire Police to make sure they adequately tackled domestic violence. They failed to implement those recommendations. Had they implemented them, I'm confident it would have helped officers in dealing with Casey's predicament. The Nottinghamshire force has had a troubled history and admitted to me that in the past, domestic violence wasn't treated as a priority. What was it about this force that it kept happening here? Uh, the force was in a different place at that time with serious crime and some real other demands. That's not to make any excuses whatsoever. Ten officers were disciplined. What happened to them? Were any of them, did any of them lose their jobs? No, none of them lost their jobs. One officer uh, was given a final written warning uh, and the next stage would have been to lose their, their jobs. Um, and, and what that, about the others? Uh, they were given other sanctions. The force has apologised to Casey Brittle's mother, who said today that she misses her daughter from the moment she wakes to the moment she sleeps. Darshna Sonny, Channel 4 News, Nottingham.